So, what's up, you guys? So, boy, I'm using for spa. How you guys doing? So, in this video, I'm going to share with you guys how to apply psychology level on volatility 100 or volatility 100, anyone you choose to call it. But I'm going to share with you guys how to apply it and how to let it be there. So, this is one of the things that people don't understand. I, used to, I usually get it on my DM. People are asking me, how can I apply psychology level on 300 or volatility 100 on the right platform? So, the right platform is something that people don't know how to get and one of the things is, is you know when you're trading on trading view you will know that derive have their own platform so people are going to trading view to be looking at looking um, looking for um, volatility 100 and be like oh i can't find it on um, trading view but they don't know that they have their own platform so they have their own platform which is called derive so i'm going to go over to my screen right now to show you guys how to find it and how to apply psychology level when it comes to derived platform and how to see it and keep it you know it doesn't mean that some some of us apply it when we come back we can't find it it's gone so i'll show you what to be doing and how to be getting it always so let's go to my chat right now let me show you guys let's go so guys so welcome 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 so this is the normal trading view that we all know so the one we use to trade maybe all the pair that we trade but nowadays you we likely or you have been seeing people trading derive and you are wondering how can i know or how can i start trading derive platform and you are wondering okay can i be able to find out where this thing is some of us come to trading view to search for v100 or all this kind of thing you can't see it here there's nothing like v100 on trading view even if you see it is going to be crypto like all those crypto stock and or these indices here or bond all those kind of a thing you see so for you to come here you have to go here and type derive trading view you see you just pump out right here derive trading view then you log in so you will see derive trading view so other things you can see on derive maybe you can see derive.com which is where you're going to sign up for your derive account so once you open it you will see a login or sign up here then you log in but because i am already i have already signed up that's why i didn't open for those things so if you click on deposit and do other things so if you want to open an account it's this is the trade traders hub this is where you can get your mt4 logins and get a driver derived account here gets you click on this get then you get account from them very easy i already have accounts with them i have already deposited before right now i don't have any money inside it that's why you are seeing 0 0.006 us dollar so i don't keep money inside but whenever i want to do anything i'll just deposit and withdraw immediately so here is how to deposit if you click on deposit it will take you here you can deposit through crypto Pesta, crypto, every other thing that you want to deposit with, you can deposit. This is a payment agent, how to deposit, card, e-wallet, bank. So here you can see crypto, deposit cryptocurrency. This is what I use. I use crypto to deposit. So I use this one, which is USDT. That's why I use to deposit. Click on this. This is the one I use whenever I want. That's why you are seeing choose choose one of your accounts or add a new cryptocurrency account. Yes, I don't want to add anything. This is what I use to deposit. So once you deposit, then you open accounts on this trade, traders and get accounts. Then push your phone from here. From here, you push it to this. You push from here to this place. Then you can be able to trade. So very simple and easy. So let's go over here. Let's go back to open the derive accounts. Derive trading view. Let me show you guys what I have for you guys on this video. Very simple. So. Drive trading view is this one that is up here. So you click on it, so it will load. So here is derived trading view. We can see that once you open it, you must see this derive here, this word. If you don't see this word here, you are not operating on derived platform. So once you click on derive and you want to search for the V100, which is the pair that I trade on derived, we can see they also have forest, stock index, stock indices commodities derived cryptocurrency so this is what i trade i trade this one this particular one derived so you can see on drive they are you can see their name arrow underscore 25 
So this is the word you have. If you remove this arrow, you can see many of them, which is what we are trading. You can see arrow 100, arrow 75, arrow 50, arrow 25, arrow 10. Even if you remove this R, you can see so many of derived, which is not R. There are so many of them also. You can see boom and every other ones. What I'm trading is this particular one, which is which is arrow 100 here. This is the one that I trade here. So arrow 100. So vol volatility 100 in this. That's what I trade. So here, this is it. So how to get psychology level is very easy and very simple. Remember, psychology level, as I always say, is a random number that banks and hedge fund pay close attention. So what is a random a random number? So random number is this. So let me show you guys random number. Round up number is this. 1,000 is a round up number. Then you go to here. 1,050 is a round up number. So, another one. So, this is 10, 5, 0. That's a round up number. So, another one is 1, 100. That's a round up number. So, what about the next one? Another one is 1, 1, 5, 0. That's a round up number. So you can see that between here and here, what is the gap? 50. Between 50 to 100, what is the gap? 50. Between 100 to 150, what is the gap? 50 again. So you can put another one. 1, 2, 100. What is the gap? 50, 50. So that's what we call psychology number. So I've already said this before, but if this is your first time watching me, so psychology number is a random number that banks and hedge fund pay close attention. So when you go to a car dealer or you go to a shopping mall or anywhere to buy something and the person says that he's selling this for this amount, this particular amount, which is 1,000, you're not going to be pricing. Are you going to sell 99? Okay. You're not going to be pricing nine nine two or something. You are not going to be pricing nine one two. You know it's, it doesn't make sense. Do you understand what I mean? So it doesn't make sense. You're not, you're not going to price, but what you are going to price, you you may likely price nine hundred. If the person doesn't accept, you may also price nine fifty. So that's what I'm trying to say. That's the psychology number. So if you understand this principle, even here you can also implement this on any other trading pair which is maybe not derived or any other currency pair you can learn how to do it on your own by this simple principle so you see this 950 is a, is a psychology number so that is what that's why i show this example where 10 5 10 5 0 100 this 1100 this 1150, this 1200, these are psychology numbers. So when you are going down, this is also a psychology number 900, 950. So you can see 850, 850. That's also a psychology number. Very simple and easy. So let's go and do the practical on the chart. So let's get rid of this. So simple. So on the chart, where is the psychology number? Where is the psychology number here? If you look at this chart for me now, where is the psychology number? For me, very simple and easy. You can see that this 1200.000 is a psychology number. So what will you do? You go to this place, this second place, which is the trade line, trend line tools. If you click on it, you can see other tools that you can also use. For me, I always use this horizontal line to map out my psychology levels. So you put it and put it to this one here. So once you put, once you place it on there, you can come to these settings. Once you click on settings, sometimes it will be on this style or test or anywhere it is of visibility, visibility but where you need to adjust is on the coordinate then you click on the coordinate and first adjust this one to zero then remove all these ones across the dots which is this ones remove it then click enter it will automatically add up the zeros then you click ok so here from here so where will be the another psychology number that is the biggest question here so very simple the next psychology number is going to be 12 here 1250. So you place it and also do the same thing. Go over here, then change it to 000. Go over to this zero, change it to zero, then place it. So let's put like like five more. 
let's put like five more. So the next one will be this one. This one. So you place it, you do over here. Remember what I said, you change it to, first you change this one, zero, 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 then you change this one to another zero. You press put enter, then you press OK. That's the psychology number. So let's put more for the next one. Also very simple, very simple to put. So these lines now, we are going to do a very practical example and see if the chart obey this format. So you place another one. Simple, very simple. There is nothing much here. There is, much, there is nothing much on finding your psychology number in any pair. If you just understand this principle, add another zero here. Plus, if you don't, you are going to miss it. So that's it. So you see? So let's add another one. Very simple. You add this one. Then you press this. Press this. Do this one. Then you save. You see what I'm doing? So you press this one. You go to five zero. You put that, you put that, then you go over here and click on this. Save. Simple. So very simple. You can see that from 1200 to 1250 is psychology numbers. So let's use a measurement tool to confirm if we are correct. So from here to here, very simple. That's 50 pips. So that's how to get your psychology number. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see, very easy, very easy, on derive. So the one thing again that you have to understand when you are trading derive that if you mistakenly go out from this place without doing this thing that I'm going to say now, all this line that you have already placed here will disappear and when you come back, you will never see it. So how can you save it? Press Control S on your chart. Control S, are you seeing? Save new chart layout. Then you can put it, save it like, 100, anything you choose to save it, 100 mm, charts, 100 charts, simple, then you save it, you see, now, you can see this thing that happened here, it's mark good, so, you save, once you press control, as it will mark good, so, right now, it has already saved on this place, so, whenever you go out and come back, what you will do is this, so, let's open another place, Derive 100, simple. So let's open it. A fresh, this is a fresh new one now. A fresh new one now. So you see, this is how it will open the first time when you open it. So let's open that particular one. So how to open that particular one is very simple. As I said, you go to over this save, click on this, this place, manage chart layouts. You click on it. So you see here, load chart layout you click on it so for me i have others i have amazing prosper v100 i have amazing prosper v75 so this is the particular one that we were playing around that i was teaching you we are not playing we are, i'm teaching you how to plot the psychology level so you click on it let's see what will happen so you see it just appear right now but if you don't do these things that i just showed you now if you don't do it it's going to disappear you're not going to see it so very, very clear and very easy. So you need to save it. Remember, whatever you whatever you place, if you want to place it, if you want to place, okay, let me show you an example again. Let's place this trend line. Trend line from here. Trend line from here. Let's just do something like a very small something now. From here, from here to here. Wow. Oh, bro, this is a short trade now. One, two, three. Ah, bro, this is a short trade now. This thing is going to be falling like amazing, like right now. This is a very big one. If it's on psychology level, bro, this is a very big one. A very sweet trade now. It's on psychology level, self. So, psychology level. Maybe after this video, after recording this video, I will go and see if I will, I will fund the account now and do some magic over here. So, and this is. This is on 24 
hours, which is a daily candle. So I'll go over and see if I can have any magic that I can do over here. You can see very simple. So here right now, all these things that I just put now, this ones and this ones and this ones, I didn't do control S, so it didn't match any good. So let's go back and see if we are able to. Let's go back, let's go and do other things. Or let's open another chart. Let's open another, let's open like drive 10. Drive 10. So you see, I open drive 10 right now. So let's let's open this chart again. 100. Let's see. Let's see. You see? You see? <laughs> what do you see? <laughs> you disappear. So because I didn't press control S, it didn't do this. It didn't do this. It didn't do this. Once it didn't do that you are going to lose everything that you just see. So let's put a psychology level again. Let's put a trend line again from there to here. Let me do control S. You see, just look at here. You see what happened here? It's much good. So let's open the 10 again. Let's see. Let's open 10 again. Very simple, very simple. You see 10? So let's open the chart again. Let's open the chart again. Let's confirm. See the chart. You see what happened? You see, very simple, very, very simple. You see the chart, the thing is, the trend line is also there. Very clear and simple, simple money making. <laughs> yeah, simple, like derive, I like it. Yeah, I can call it simple money making machine. So very easy and very, okay, yeah. So you see just the way it's saved. You know, in other trading view, which is this particular one here, you don't need to press control S. There is nothing like that. Their platform is already made to be like that was whenever you put something it will always be there even when you come back two years later you see all those things that you already have there but here which is here you have to press ctrl s for it to it must it must do this check before you know that okay those things that you just put now is already sealed and if you open as you if you open this thing the first time this is how it will look like if you open it the first time. So you don't need to go here to start searching for um, V100. What you just do is go over to this place that you have already saved your lo load chart layout and click that one that you save. Remember, you can name it anything you like. For me, I have V100, Amazing Prosper V100, Amazing Prosper V75. Yeah, so you can just load this and do it. You can favorite it. It will be favorite. It will come up like this. Simple and easy. So. That's all for this video. So guys, that's how to find your psychology level on V100. Very easy and simple. So if you just follow through of all the things that I just showed you right now, you are good to go and you are going to be getting your psychology level easy peasy. So if you are new, please consider subscribing and turn on bell notifications. See you in the next video. As I always say, peace out. I love you.